Okay. This is my new apparatus for my GoPro. I have it mounted to my newest piece of equipment added to my arsenal, which is my Scott's Elite spreader here. You have to excuse some of the background noise. I live here in the city, like I said before. A lot of background noise, people talking really loud, cars going by. Um, of course, I had to personalize it right here. I had to put my, you know, my Loganite because that's the product of choice, as you can see in the hopper here. And I'm going to be throwing it down today. Um, not really worried about the uh, settings. I kind of just eyeball it and open up the uh, spreader and throw it down slowly and just spoon feed it. Um, this is going to be one of my first applications of the year. And, well, let's give it a go. This is going to be pretty cool. I think you're going to like this. It has the uh, edge guard on this. As well as the 80-pound hopper. And hold a lot of product. That was my main concern. Not very much so for the front yard, but mainly for the backyard and the sides i don't like refilling the hopper too much so we're going to start off over here and make our first pass and i'm going to tell you my full review on this and tell you what i think of this product it's very simple just to the left right here on the handle control i can engage my edge guard for this first trim pass and away we go. Oh, this is nice. Just walking along, just a casual pace, trimming at my uh, edge passes. Now I'm just going to toss back in this one area, overlapping, oh, I didn't take the edge guard off, sorry, something new here, uh, learning curve I guess, now it's going to be tossing back to my previous tracks I made. It's a bit of a bumpy ride. Like I said before, you guys use the noise because we have people who are apparently deaf who like to ride around with the noise. And their uh, stereo is turned all the way up. Alright, now I'm going to engage the ears guard again. And walk up my trim pass right here. Now, I am going across my neighbor's boundary. Take the edge guard off. Go back to my previous tire tracks. And the reason why I took the edge guard off is because, and I don't do the edge guard on the pass on the neighbor's, is because he doesn't care really if I throw on his property or not. See here, I'm trying to get used to these settings here. Now to reverse the pattern. And overlap what I previously threw down.
over here. And I will do the same. if you throw it in your flower beds or not. All it's going to do is just give those plants the nitrogen it needs as well. Alright, now I'm going to set the edge guard again. And come back along this whole edge along the walkway here. I think I'm gonna do one more pass right here on this walkway. This one needs a little bit of extra stimulant. All right. We need to stimulate the growth of this ongoing project of trying to get anything to grow there, especially in this park or these areas too. Again, the edge guard is on. And I am dispersing the product at a slower rate because, like I said, I'm spoon feeding it. And the reason why I'm using Loganite as a product of choice is because it doesn't burn or doesn't throw down any harmful chemicals in the spillways or waterways that are harmful to the environment. So I read or so I heard. All right. Leaving the edge guard on. Going to this parkway area. And I'm going to throw down at a slower rate of pace. And disperse this product down. All of this doesn't have to be watered in as well. This is a product you can stow it down and kind of effortless that you know you can basically not worry about it and it does its magic on its own whenever you get some rain you'll see it green up over a period of four or five days it usually works well for me this part of my lawn this one is part of the project I'm taking on as far as renovating it If I'm mumbling on and on, it doesn't uh, <clears throat> seem natural to me to talk in front of the camera, so that's why I'm kind of hesitant on uh, saying certain things. Okay, with that being said, um, I seem to like this product, this new spreader. Um, it definitely has its advantages over my old one. It has the uh, dual rotor system along with the edge guard. Uh, no flat wheels. They'll never go flat on you. Um, like I said, it has the ergonomic handle along with the, the lock and the uh, actual spot for your smartphone you can even download their interactive uh, lawn app um, has a code on there there's the holder and there's your control I was talking about for the edge guard this is simple right here you don't have to reach forward it's just flip it down it's engaged flip it back up it's disengaged the dial setting on here as you can see, it goes all the way up to 15. I 
think I really like this product. Well, let's see if we can change this out a little bit here. Hang on one second. Uh, forgive me if this video ends a little abruptly, but we have a lot of noise going on in the background as usual. <laughs> 